What's up? What's up? What's up? This is TA. You have joined uh, Tavarian Acres channel. Uh, I just want to make sure everybody having a good holiday. I'm not too big into holidays, but I just want to make sure everybody's having a great, beautiful Sunday. I'm out here in Illinois. It was a great day for Illinois. Uh, what weather's warm. Uh, we had a little tropics going on there. You know, I wore a sweatshirt. You know, I had to be prepared. You know, I have weather out here bipolar and everything like that. But yeah, man, I just hope everybody had an amazing day. I hope you found, you know, a reason to be happy for your family. I hope you found a reason to, you know, uplift yourself today. The first thing you can do to, you know, just think about, you know, that you that you had a good day is that you woke up this morning. You know, you could have, you know, a lot of people wake up dead, you know, not not to be real blunt. No, fuck that. To be real blunt, a lot of people wake up dead. A lot of people wake up with no shoes on. A lot of people wake up not knowing where any of their meals are going to come from for the whole month. You know, I'm fortunate I have a job and I do um, entrepreneurial stuff on the side. So I know where, you know, my meal's going to come. I know that I'll be able to provide for my son because I'm a hustler. But not everybody has that hustle mentality in them. And what I do with these videos is actually help people build that hustle mentality and know that they can still do something with their lives. Know that they still can create a way for their families. Know that they still can create a way to be successful. Know that they can still create a way to have a good day. Just know that they can still create a way to change their life around. If you're having a bad life, you're not having the right life, and you're having the wrong life, flip it around. You know? Maybe that causes cutting some of the people out. And family, too, because family can be toxic, too. So if you got to cut off some family members in order to have a great life and to build your life in a different way, the way you want it to go, because only you can determine what your destiny is at the end of the day. And if you're living for somebody else that's not like your son, your mom, or... If you're not living for them in a good way, and you guys know what I mean by that, I don't have to be, just just don't put yourself down too much to where it's affecting your life, and now you have to make you know drastic changes, you know, in order to make them happy. Make yourself happy first, and then you can make everybody else happy around you. Because if you're not happy, you're not making the people around you happy. You get what I'm saying? I'm gonna say that again. If you're not happy, you're not making the people around you happy because they're feeding off of your energy. If you're the breadwinner in the family, they're definitely feeding off your energy. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like we have to go through these stepping stones in life, right? Some of these stepping stones might just be easy to go over, just like a, you know, just like a small hurdle. But then you might, you know, you might cross that hurdle. There might be a brick in front of you. You have to figure out a way how to move that brick in enough time before you trip. Now, I'm using that analogy because stuff gets thrown in your face automatically. Um... Let me give you an example in my life. Um, let's see. I was 18, 19 years old, going into college. I'm an athlete. I play football to this day. I'm football headed heart. God had another plan for me. Um, I became a father. or I, I found that I was going to become a father uh, the year 2014. Now, that did not change anything in my life. I just had to move a different way and find a way to remove that brick. So what I did was, is I sacrificed time with friends, family, and going out to events. So, you know, as as a second year college student, I came back, newborn baby, four months old. So I did football. I worked part-time. I was a full-time student. And I frequently see my son every single weekend. Now, a lot of you might be doing some stuff similar to that, but it's just like, I could have done I've been doing a lot more things than going to work 30 hours, 25 hours a week while, you know, playing football, while trying to study, you know, you know, while trying to raise a kid. And I got through those obstacles, still getting through those obstacles today. You just have to find things to help replace those things and do it in another way. I don't know if I said that right, but it, it it'll sound great at the end of the day. But we have to find ways to hurry up and remove those bricks in between those hurdles. Because if you don't, you'll just trip and you'll fall. If you don't get back up, <laughs> who are you saving then? Who life are you going to make better then? This is all about living as one. We all breathe and drink the same water. Excuse me, got a little gas coming up from my throat. We all breathe and drink the same way. We're all human beings. We're supposed to be in this together. We're supposed to love one another. 
So you becoming a good person and doing the right thing sheds off on the next person and on the next person. And that's how we're going to make this world better for people doing the right things when nobody's even looking. Now, I can be guilty of not doing the right things all the time, but what I'm trying to do is get the word out about how you should find something in your life and value it. You know, you woke up, like I said, you woke up this morning. That's a plus. A lot of people don't wake up. Some people don't want to wake up and, you know, and that's that's some psychological issues. That's some mental issues. But we're not going to get into that subject, but it's just the simple things. You know, a lot of people don't have a car. You know, a lot of people don't have a home to go to, like I said earlier. So, you know, people, you have to value things in a different way. So, like, when I wake up in the morning, I'll be like, man, I woke up. Man, I got clothes to put on my back. Man, you know. I might not have food in my refrigerator, but I can go buy some. I can go get a meal, you know. A lot of people can't do that. And share. Share how you... And the most thing you do, don't be little people. Teach people what they don't know. I hate when somebody, you know, oh, it's supposed to be done like this. Why? You ain't know that? Bro, don't do that. Just teach me the way to do it, and that way you don't have to tell me, to, you know, how to tell me how to do it next time because I already know because you taught me. Do not belittle me. Educate. Let's educate everybody around us. Don't matter what race you are, white, black, none of that. I say white, black because that's, that's the biggest academic in America. I'm going to be blunt about it. I ain't going to hold no back. That's like the biggest academic being white or black, you know. But here's the thing I know. Everybody's human. There's one race on the planet, and that's the human race. So remember that, people. So... To leave this video with, find something to be happy for. It can be the smallest thing because somebody somewhere else does not have that. Um, cherish the moment um, and bring it back to the fam, man. Teach people, man. Teach. Teach, man. This is how these kids learn how to live the right way. You know, I'm from a city of Chicago, man. There's three million people. People get killed every day. Because they're, they're not teaching these children how to live the right way. You don't have to pick up that gun to get respect. You can simply just... Learn all the useful material in life and people will respect you for that. That's that's the real gangster thing. You know, you know, people doing the right thing, you know, like what I did. You know, I said that's very gangster, you know, being able to go to school, you know, work 30 hours a week um, and be an athlete, you know, stand at 10 workouts, you know, uh, wake up at the crack of dawn. My day starts every day at 6 a.m. to I'm up from 6 a.m. to 2 a.m. in the morning. From 6 a.m., so the start of 6 a.m. to 2 a.m. the next day. Those are usually when my days end. Now, it might end a little earlier. Um, but I, find, I try to find every way to, you know, help educate the people around me. Because I wasn't always that person, you know, that would help educate person, people. But I wanted to do something different. I wanted to be able to teach, you know, people different things. And you know how I got that? I influenced my mind with positive things. Stay positive, people. If you go through a negative situation, find the most positive thing about it. If your mom died, you know, if your mom died and you're 21, just thank God for giving you uh, 21 years with your mom, you know, because a lot of people never met their mom or that's probably not a good situation. But that's a that, that that's a, a good example to, you know, to be positive about. At least you're, they gave your mom 21, you know, healthy years, you know, before she died, before you you got to know her a little bit. You know, it's just it's just simple things to cherish out of negative situations. There's always something positive you can find out of it. I'm out, y'all. This is TA's channel, man. Stay tuned for more.